Yo, oh, what's up, y'all? It's DMV Computer Man, man. My assistant manager here, Jay, is in the building. And today's live stream, where we just want to come and bring y'all some insight on how to shop for the right laptop. Um, a lot of people don't know how to shop for the right laptop. And that's what this video is about. So you, a lot of people, they shop by price and looks is what I'm finding. What's yeah, you? As a, yeah, that's really what it is. They shop by looks. And a lot of people just go on brand name. Like a lot of people are very specific. Like I only like Dell or I only like HP. And mo most popularly, I only want an Apple. But what they don't realize is they all make different tiers. So you just got to know what you're trying to do with your computer. And that way you can choose what specs are going to work best for you. Because you can get an Apple and you want a video edit, but you get a MacBook Air. And now you can't do nothing because yeah, the programs are no too lie. strong. So, yeah. And I do find a lot of customers will come to our store. They'll say, yo, I want a MacBook because I heard I can do X, Y, and Z on it. But they're not really finding out what MacBooks is good for X, Y, and Z. They're just like MacBook. Mm -hmm. Same thing. I've had people come and say Dell, HP, the same thing. Uh, a lot of people, they, they, they just hear something. Oh, this is good. This is good. Let me get that. And they don't know about the actual specs on those laptops. So that's what we're here to talk about is specs. So... Um, I would say about 50 to 80% of our c customer base really needs powerful laptops. Yeah. And then the other 30 to 50% based upon how they fall on what particular day or month, um, they just need some basic shit. Every day. Uh, <laughs> but they don't know. And then some people are buying shit that's $800, $900 and they just getting on the web. And Check other people emails. coming in trying to spend $100 or $200. And they trying to be Bates, Zaytoven or some shit. Trying to make beats and, and do uh, vlogging and all of that. So what our job is to, and, and we and, and what we notice is if you go into Best Buy, not to down these companies, but it's the God, it's, it's just the truth is the truth. Um, you go to Best Buy, you go to Target, you go to um, Walmart. They got their laptops laid out. They got a, a dude that looked the part in the in the department. You know, he looked the part. But Motherfucker him, looked dorky and shit. But his goal is only to, to close a deal. Or to, 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 to get you out of his face so he can get back on his break. Like, they not, you know, they not really there to help you. They, they going to get paid regardless. Yeah. Um, and then a lot of times, they can't afford to, a lot of these companies, they can't afford, but they won't afford to pay these people what they worth. So... You got a guy with all his knowledge and he only making a certain amount of money. He's not going to stay there long. Yeah. He's going to leave and go to another company where he can get appreciated. And so you don't have really no tech knowledge um, in these places that you go to. You might have one or two people who are making the real money and the other people, they don't really know anything. They're just going back and asking this person or they're going to their book or whatever the case may be. And, and, and if you in Target or bet, uh, in Target, nine times out of ten, they ain't going to no book. No. They'll tell you what they think, and that's, that's, and that's that. And yeah. that shit might be right. It might be wrong. Yeah. Best Buy, you might, I get them, you know, benefit of the best doubt. Buy a little, best Buy put a little more pride in what they do. So you might you might actually get a know, guy like, that's going to go in the back and find the real answers for you. For yeah. you but, but Walmart... Target, nah, any of them other places that just got an electronics area, but they don't really specialize in it. They not. You gonna better know what the hell detail. you came in there yeah. looking for. So, so yeah. what we what we gonna do is talk about processors because that's the most important um, aspect in purchasing a laptop is the processor. You need to know about RAM. You also the hard drive isn't as important, but in these newer models it can be because they they start to solder everything together, um, but it's not as important. Um, so, processors. For those of you who are looking to do something basic, your budget can be no matter if you can go in a you can go in a in a computer store right now with two hundred dollars okay. and get you a nice Celeron or a Pentium processor. And the way you know the process is they'll put these little stickers on the computers. Uh, he might have to come back tomorrow. Trade some phones. All right, so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you want to check on that? 
Check on that. Uh, I'll deal with this. That's a new one. All right, so we we got little customers at the door. Um, so what? What back back on topic? All right, so you want to know the process? You want to look at that little sticker right on the on the bottom of the laptop? Apple doesn't put them on there because Apple only deals with Intel. But it'd be like a little sticker somewhere right here. This is a repair, so don't don't mind this cracked screen. But it'd be a little sticker right here um, telling you if it's an Intel or AMD processor, and it'll also give you what what level of process and power it has it. It could be a Pentium, it could be a Celeron, um, Core i3, Core i5, Core i7. Top Dogs is getting Core i9s. Now, the reason I just mentioned all five of these is because there's levels to how much you can do on each one of these processes. And that's gonna determine which one you need to purchase for whatever you're trying to do. So if you're looking to do, say you're looking to do um, Zoom meetings um, and you're going to be running some other software in the background while you're running Zoom meetings, let's assume you're going to have a, uh, an antivirus running on your computer. Let's assume you're going to have the works going on, which is really not the works in 2020. Back in, the, back in 1995, there was a lot going on on the computer, but in 2020, it's not. And computers they make nowadays can handle it but not every computer can handle it. That's what we gotta understand. So when you're trying to do a lot of things like that, I recommend, and this is just all personal recommendations, but a lot of uh, techies will agree, at least a Core i5 processor, eight gigabytes of RAM. Typically in a store, depending on what generation of that i5 processor, whether it's like a second generation or an eighth generation, the price can vary anywhere from $200 up to almost a thousand dollars um the older of course will fall in the 200 dollars range and then the newer will fall in the later range then you also will have variations where some of these i5 processes will be dual core some will be quad core um and then sometimes they uh if you got an i7 you might can get an octa core um and that's just how many cores are working inside that computer to make that processor work um the more cores the faster the processor also, you want to look at how many gigahertz is the processor. I don't recommend purchasing anything less than 2.0 gigahertz. Anything less than that is uncivilized, in my opinion, unless it's a newer generation i-series processor. Um, this might be going over a lot of people's heads. Hopefully, it's not. Um, but the main goal is if you can grasp it, grasp it. If not, take some notes from this video and try to go back and do some further research as far as what I'm talking about. Um, then the, then we let's go to RAM. So RAM is basically every program that you open up on your computer, whether you're actually having that window open or if it's minimized, as long as that program is open, it's running off of your RAM. Um, a lot of people know it as memory. Yeah, so, so you can, can go by either phone name. phone calls and people ask about memory and they ask about storage and they get it confused. RAM and memory are the same thing. Your yep. hard drive is not your memory. Yep. <laughs> so so with that, um, every program that you got running on your computer, whether it's actually in full window, minimized, really super minimized to the taskbar, no matter what, it's still running on the computer and it's using up the RAM. Every tab you open up on your web browser is using up the RAM. Every plugin that you use in your producing software is using up more and more RAM. Every filter in your video editing and your photo editing is using up more and more RAM. So Literally every additional thing you do is using up more RAM. And, your and then a lot of people don't understand that the operating system that is running off of is using up some of that RAM as well. So you definitely want to make sure you got ample RAM, 8 to 12 gigabytes, sometimes 16 gigabytes. In 2020, if you got the money to do it, get you a fucking i7 16 gigabytes and you going to be good. Yeah. And if you really got the money to do it, do a solid state with it. Solid state hard drive, goddamn, man, go all the Video way, 32 card. gigs of RAM. You know what I'm saying? No, in other words, don't cheat yourself. Treat, treat yourself. yourself. Because you're trying to future-proof yourself from going out and buying another computer in the future. Um, so that's just some quick tips we're going to throw out there today. 
Um, we'll get into hard drives in another video. But definitely know that if you're going in and you got these expectations, don't don't go in without doing research. Don't go in without doing research yeah. because you're going to waste money. And some places will not let you get your money back. Pawn shops, they ain't rocking like that. Nope. Certain places ain't going, going for it. So once you spent that money, you, it's yours. Yeah, ain't nothing. And you got to figure out something. You're going to have to figure you it out. And that's more up. money <laughs> modifying. And if it's if it's a newer version, Apple, Ain't no shit can't even get modified. So you don't waste your so money. So do your research, do your homework, follow this fucking channel, like, subscribe to this channel. And we're going to be back with more shit. And we're going to be man. back.